This is Jamie Boyum in Longview. I'm here at a thrift store. And, you know, you just never know what you're going to find at a thrift store. There's just amazing things in there. Sometimes I'm like, why did somebody get rid of that? Why is that here? I mean, you just don't know. Um, anyway, this is a new place. And there's a woman standing right next to me over here. She's not shopping. She runs this joint. And this is Amanda Vizi. Hello, Amanda. Hi. And you are the founder and executive director of One Love Longview. I am. Yes. And Watching this, me. and this, and this is uh, this place is actually twice loved. This is twice loved. I know. Mm -hmm. Nice play on words there, mm -hmm. huh? Yes, That's yeah. right. Yeah, it's sometimes month. we're smart. It, sometimes, <laughs> but a little. You know, it's Monday, so. It's right. Monday. Yeah. So uh, that's the name of this store, though, right? It is Twice mm -hmm. Loved Marketplace. Twice Loved Marketplace, mm -hmm. and um, I guess uh, you've just opened up for a week and a half or so. Two yeah, weeks. Yes. So, um, so this is gonna. This is the start of the third week for okay. us to be open. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So how's it going so far? Great. Great. Um, our supporters are showing up in the masses and making donations and shopping and doing all the great things. So yeah. um, our supporters are, they always show up for us. So we're very grateful. That's cool. Yeah. In fact, uh, I was talking to one of your cohorts here and she was mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, there's empty spaces. I know. Yeah. yeah. I walked up this morning and we're really big on our displays here. Mm -hmm. um, and so I walked up and like all of the things are knocked over in the window because I think people have been grabbing things. And so <laughs> that's a good problem to have. So I get to work on displays again today and, um, and we like for things to be missing. So it's like, that's uh, a good problem to have. It's like Black Friday every day here. I know. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what we want. Well, it's uh, and I guess let's walk around a little bit. Sure. Kind of show the place. So I guess uh, uh, you, uh, of course, accept donations. We uh, do. Because of your clients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do. And uh, what uh, what kind of things, what kind of problems do your clients have? What do you, you kind of cater to? So most of our clients that we serve over at One Love on a daily basis are experiencing homelessness. So while we do have two other services, our um, mental health and substance use clinic and our medical clinic, um, where we serve folks that are um, currently maybe uninsured or just an underserved population, the day-to-day -day services are for folks who are experiencing homelessness. And so, um, you know, they run into um, a ton of problems, um, like where are we gonna take a shower? Where are we gonna eat? What are we gonna eat? Um, do I have clean clothing? Where am I gonna sleep tonight? Um, the weather has been bad for the last few days, and so we open up as a 24-hour care center during those times. Okay, okay. Um, so we've been open overnight for the last three nights, um, which is, uh, you know, a, a huge thing and a, a huge relief for our folks. So um, we kind of serve as a gray area um, safety net for all of the folks um, in the community who are just not a great fit elsewhere. So by the time our folks get to us, they've typically gone through all of the other nonprofits, and for some reason or another, it wasn't a good fit for them. And so they are left and we are um, the last stop. Oh, I got you. Last hope. <laughs> so it's, uh, and then and, and you uh, obviously accept uh, donations to help these folks out. Mm -hmm. And then the, you were telling me though that sometimes uh, donations that came in, you just had to turn away. Right, yeah. So, um, you know, before we had the store, um, we were only accepting donations that were beneficial to our clientele. And so we were having to turn away donations left and right, which is, you know, for a nonprofit, um, if you were able to have a thrift store to help fund, you're turning away money to help fund your cause. Yeah. And so um, we knew when we moved over into this new building that um, this was the next step for us to continue the services that we have next door. There's just, there's no other way at this point. Right, and it's a, and then did this building, this building, which is right next door, right? It, it, did it become available somehow or something? It's an interesting story. Mm. So, um, mm. this is the old Charmin building, and the owner of Charmin had kept up with the building, um, kept the utilities on for about eight years, and really had no interest in selling. And some way or another, we got connected to someone who was connected to someone um, who said, "I will buy this building." if you guys will lease it, but I don't want to buy it unless you're going to lease it. I'm trying to get out of this business. I want to retire. Um, but something is just telling me this is what I'm supposed to do. And so in true one love form, um, someone purchased the building just for us to be able to lease it. And so our hope obviously is, um, for this store to be incredibly profitable, um, so that we can fund next door. And then hopefully in the near future, um, you know, our, our goal is to eventually purchase both of these buildings. So, 
Right. Yeah. Okay. That makes so, a lot of sense. Right. right. We need to. Lower we need, the overhead we need to... big time. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And right now, I guess uh, the, the store is operating with volunteers, right? The store is operating with volunteers. Most of our, we only have a few paid staff members next door. All of our directors are volunteer at One Love Steel. And, um, and so we're very proud to have been able to maintain that. Um, and, you know, hopefully that's, it's been necessary. Um, it's been the way that it has to be to be able to keep things going. And so, um, you know, hopefully that is something that we can look forward to just shifting in the future as we make sure that our clients' needs are met first. That's always our first goal. And then we can start to move into in, increasing the services and being able to um, provide more jobs. Well, so, well, yeah. that's great. Yeah, it's uh, uh, quite a deal. And uh, this place is still pretty fresh. Where's Where's the location? Where's it located? Um, right here, we are right next door to One Love um, on uh, McCann Road, 1017 McCann Road, the old Charmin's building. We're um, right next door to One Love Longview and right across the street from Lone Star Ice House. Yeah, okay. So it's it's that little McCann cutoff mm -hmm. uh, part that's so, actually McCann Road. It goes over to Highway 80. Yeah. Yes, and so the best entrance right now is obviously from Highway 80. You can't get in because they're doing some construction down here at McCann. So you'd have to come around, but I promise it's it's worth the extra block to drive. Yeah, you just <laughs> you never know what you're going to find here. Oh, it's These like a treasure are, box. Yes, they really, really are. And of course, <laughs> it, it, your, your content differs all the time. Yeah, absolutely. So you should keep coming back. You just have to keep coming back every day. Every yeah. day we're putting down, putting out new things. People are bringing in more donations. And so we're getting it out as fast as we can. Well, I, I noticed behind you, actually, there's something that uh, I had never seen before. And, uh, you know, I go to thrift stores from time to time because you just uh, never know. And this is crazy right here. You were talking about this just a moment ago. A shower. This is a shower <laughs> in a box. It looks... Uh, Maybe it's seen better days. I mean, it looks like a car battery. <laughs> but apparently, um, this is a, a propane-powered heated shower. So Who knew? You never know when you're going to need one of these, right? So I didn't put that out, and I didn't know that was here. Otherwise, I probably would have taken it next door. But here we are. I thought it was a car battery also. Was, yeah, it kind of looked like it. <laughs> so Make see, a good case for a car battery. The treasures. Anymore. But, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff can be repurposed. But this, I think, was as good as is. Um, however... Probably won't be here by the time you get here That's and right. ask for it. Mm, sorry. Better rush over. <laughs> but they probably won't get another one either. So rush on down and get the shower. Yes, please. On Wednesday. On Wednesday, yes. On Wednesday. You have to wait till Wednesday for your outdoor shower. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thanks again, Amanda. Yeah, sorry. That's appreciate happening. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right. Well, I think I'm going to buy this. No, I'm not. We'll have more later on KLTV7 News and KLTV.com. Thanks for coming. I'm put this right back here next to the, look at this, blue boots. Oh, where are they? Blue boots. Blue boots. Aren't they cute? Yeah, they are. Yeah, you know, and uh, those will be gone too. Sorry. Are you going to buy those too? Blue boots. I have no comment about what I'm going to purchase at this point. Okay. All when right. That's fine. When you're closed. All right. Are we still rolling? Oh my gosh. Oh no. We better turn it off.